stained parts. Um, I'm so sad, but I'm very sad, very happy. And when I return home, um, everybody who knows me will be getting a happier, more chilled out version of me. <laughs> My boyfriend is checking in. I don't know why we're checking in in events like this. Probably because I always miss flights. I should just show. Crepe? Huh? Crepe? No. Yes, come back. No crepe? Oh, I thought you were saying no. No, I can't. I couldn't see you because I don't have my green card. I'm making my final Save Bars video. Aww. Would you like to share your favorite thing about the trip anonymously? <laughs> you. He said me. Do we do? You want me to open the drink? Baby, you are on. Shush. Huh? Shush. I'm making this video. Baby, do you want to go to Kenya? Kenya? Someone has invited us to Kenya. Uh, you know, Kenya is Shut up. Never mind. Shush! When are we going to Japan? Actually. Japan is so much better. Baby, shush. I'm going to just stop. So this, before I even get into the rest of the video, um, obviously we have all heard in the blogs on you know social media that um, Russell Simmons' youngest daughter, Aoki Lee Simmons, is in a relationship with a man who is 44 years her senior. OK, so she is officially um, a sugar baby for this for this w very wealthy man. And I want to expose the contradictions that a lot of these women have. Um, but I, I think it's very important to the conversation for us to listen to the video in its entirety. And then I will give you guys my full breakdown. So I'm just going to press play. We're going to watch the rest of the video and then I'll talk about it all after. I am, though, a big Bulgari person. I am, though, a big Bulgari person. Okay, I just want to make that very clear. Bulgari. Oui. Bye, Bulgari. Hopefully they have my necklace when I come back. Hopefully. And they don't sell it to somebody else. Oh my god, look at this giraffe. We're obsessed with this giraffe. This is our favorite giraffe. No, I want my crepe. I know, but you can walk there and then eat it. Yeah, so we get an hour. No, it's okay. 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 I, you can only see its neck. I know, but it's coming now. No. Ooh, you know what I also like a lot? Yeah. Which one? The rest? Tartine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. When you were uh, either asleep or at Celine, me as one of my followers saved a bird. You saved a bird, huh? Yes, it was dying. You could have pretty. Yeah, I know, I do. I want, I want a crate. No, I know, but I just asked if you want to walk. Oh, no, we can walk together. Baby, jump out and start to order to cry. Okay, what do you want? For me, a normal cry. Jump, jump no, here. No man, come close. I have to find some park here. No man, come... Can you tell us? No, no, regular. What's, what's regular? Normal cry. What's normal cry? Sugar and butter? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Baby, <laughs> What flavor? Okay. What flavor? You don't raise my budget, I'm gonna your sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course I'm you kidding. are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. So you're not gonna do any of that. You just gonna 
raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm going to be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, I mean, if your higher self hears you. You know what the you said is bad. You're not going to do that. You're just talking. Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Russell Simmons looks stressed out. <laughs> Russell said, "You're not. You're not going to do that. Where's your boyfriend? That's your age. Where is? Where is that guy? I like that kid." And, you know, I have to I have to point out a lot of things that happen. The reason why I wanted to play the video in its full entirety is because I think that based off of the way in which she is communicating, you can see her level of maturity. Right. Um, I thought that the way that she communicated was very similar to the way that Drea's new baby father, who is the same age as her son, communicates being that they are the same age they are very close to being the same exact age okay i thought it very interesting that in the comment section under drea um you know getting pregnant by a, a young man who is the same exact age as her son there was a whole bunch of women in the comment sections. Oh, yeah, sis, you know, get it how you live. Oh, yeah, girl, get them while they're young. I know that's right, girl. Okay, Stella. <laughs> okay, girl, do you. I know that's right. You know, you look good. These youngins, these youngins be all up on you. I get it, girl. It was a vast difference. In the world of, of women supporting women, it was a vast difference. When the man has the age advantage in the relationship of how women were communicating about Aoki in the comment section. I found it very mind boggling. There were a lot of people who were calling her anti-feminist. There were a lot of people who were, who were calling her pick me. There were a lot of people who were calling her, uh, you know, delusional. There was women who were, who were talking about, oh, you know, she got daddy issues. It's because her daddy wasn't there. She's too young. This is, um, you know, this is sick behavior. This is disgusting. You know, you're a victim. There was all of this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, commentary about how she's not okay and this is terrible and this is all of these things. But when the woman has the age advantage, y'all don't see no problem with it. I'm confused. You see, what I tend to realize is that the way that they were having the dialogue in the car, this man um that's that is supposed to be her sugar daddy or whatever the case is he know exactly what it is that he's doing and this is why i say and and why i said it in the last video when i was talking about drea and her you know baby daddy that's the same age as her son is that when a man is older and a woman is younger it is a that it's very different because men are naturally the leaders this man has enough finances that I'm sure that even if she got pregnant, right? Which I'm sure when it comes to a certain level of money, the reason why there's not a whole bunch of kids that these men have been, uh, you know, walking around is because they probably have a clause that you have to sign. That says, if you get pregnant, this was going to happen. You can't change your mind. You can't this, you can't that. I got to go with you to put you on birth control. They probably have it all down on paper. Okay. To be real. But let's just say, for instance, she were to get pregnant. That is not going to make, break, or change the trajectory of his business, of his finances. He's not going to be out on the street because she got pregnant and he got to pay her child support. That's just not going to happen. It's not going to stray his focus. None of that. With the Drea situation, she, again, already had two children. And she got pregnant with a young man who is the same age as her son. And this is his first child. She knows all the changes that are going to come in or, you know, happen in his life based off of this being his first child. She's very well aware of that. He's not. 
He's just getting into the game. He's just stepping into a certain level of finances. It's not the same playing field. But what I notice is that if a woman is taking advantage of a man, it's okay. But the minute that it seems like a man is on to the, the tricks and the schemes, that's when there's a problem. Because if y'all notice, okay, when she start naming uh, Bulgari and when she start naming Cartier and all this kind of stuff, that man, he, it, it, you would have thought somebody grabbed the bottom of his foot and started tickling it the way he was laughing. <laughs> That man was like, "Woo, you are a comedian. Where are the tickets to the stand up? Girl, you should be a stand up comedy because a, a comedian because you are hilarious. Oh, my God. I haven't ha heard a joke like that. in I don't know how long she over there talking about bye, Bulgari. He talking about bye. <laughs> how he waving by to the store with you. You naming all this design and stuff and he buying you a crepe. Okay, he like, hold on, let me get this two dollars and thirty five cents out. <laughs> Why are you talking about you want a cart, you want Cardia, and you want Bulgari? All of this, oh, you know, you have you have daddy issues, and you know, you see, this is what happens when the parents, when the fathers, um, you know, are, are have a tumultuous relationships with the mothers. It sends signals to the daughters. Why did nobody call mommy issues? That's because women have to find a way to blame a man by any means possible. Did it ever dawn on everybody that maybe it's because of what she's seen her mother do that that's why she is doing what she's doing? Oh, oh, we don't talk about moms. I'm sorry. I forgot. My bad. <laughs> I forgot the moms are above reproach. You know, once it's a woman, she's above reproach. Nobody can't call her out. Nobody can't say she did anything wrong. It can't possibly be her mom. It's got to be somebody. It's got to be the daddy who's giving her an allowance at her big age. Which is already something that he doesn't have to do. This girl went to Harvard. Okay. Is I don't know if she went there through, you know, CEO, my parent, y'all know who my parents is, scholarship, or if she just went to Harvard because, uh, Harvard because of her, you know, test score. I don't really know. But all I'm trying to say is, it's not like she's incapable. He's there. He's, again, providing her. M most of the time, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, if we want to be really real about it, you guys just uh, minimize a dad down to what's in, what's in his pockets and how much money he has and how much he's providing for his children. And he's doing that. The bare minimum that you guys want a man to do is just, you know, provide and, and pay for stuff and give his children money. That's what he's doing. And in the air of entitlement, if you don't give me more, I'm going to go get a sugar daddy. And that's what she did. So the same way that a lot of these women talk about, oh, you know, there's no double standard. And, and, and you know, why they talk to me? Oh, why? Why is it that when it's a man who does this, that you act differently than when it's a woman who does that? Because there is a double standard. It's just reality. There's a double standard. The same way that a woman can go up to a man and, and start throwing them bowls on him. And if a man retaliates, they will say, oh, come on. You're stronger than her. You're a man. You're supposed to be able to handle it. And nobody will tell her, why are you doing that? There's a double standard. A man that has a whole bunch of finances, you know, has a lot of money, who's doing well for himself. And even just a man who is attractive, who's of a certain age. He has, you know, a plethora of women to choose from. Women being the nurturing, the caretakers, the caregivers, it's odd. Because as, as a woman, there's this, in, this innate thing within you that you look at all younger, uh, you know, people around you or all, especially if you have a child that's the same age, it's almost like you look at them like they're your children. It's different. 
it's just different and y'all know it's different because y'all are in the comment section talking about something wrong with her but y'all weren't saying that to drea y'all weren't saying uh drea this is weird when you were giving birth to your son his mother was giving birth to him that's weird uh drea he's too young uh Dre nobody was saying that and i have to say it again you see, if she was in the car and he was buying her, he stopped at Bulgari when they was in the car and he went out and he was acting a fool and picking up all this stuff. If he stopped at Cartier as soon as she said she liked it and he went and he picked out all this jewelry for her, they would be like, bravo. I know that's right, sis. Get it how you live. They will be saying the same thing and singing the same tune. But because he seems like he's a little bit too wise or he have a little bit too, wis too much wisdom and he's not getting got, they're like, oh, no, this is you're a victim. Oh, no, this is, this is terrible. Isn't that interesting? I also found it very interesting that there was people in the comment section calling Russell a groomer, but then they were referring to the guy as a sugar daddy. Russell's age difference from their mother is, is nowhere close to the age difference between Ayoki and this man. But what I personally notice is that whenever, um, I, I, in my opinion, I'm guessing the only way that is considered a sugar daddy is when you, when it's a uh, um, somebody from a different culture, when it's when it's uh you know a man that's within the same culture, when it's when it's uh you know Russell Simmons who's a black man who's with an Asian, you know that was considered grooming. But if he was French, it would be sugar daddy. I guess, I guess you have to have an exotic feature <laughs> to get the different title. That's what I'm seeing. Well, you know what? And uh, let me just, I heard, I know y'all heard him say Mary J. Blige's name. Okay. <laughs> I know y'all heard that. First of all, I don't think that that man knew that she was on live stream. But second of all, I think that he said that just to let her know, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Okay. So this might be your first go around, but it's not mine because ask about me. <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.